the Glenlivet Distillery was founded almost 200 years ago in 1824. Its distillery in Speyside produces 21 million litres of spirit every year. Producing that spirit requires water and lots of it. So for process we're using about um, a million litres a day. Uh, for cooling it's uh, of the order of 7 million litres a day. But as I say that, that is returned. Being in a place that has a lot of consistent water is really really important. Climate change means future water availability is a serious consideration. We're expecting a higher frequency of low flow events, of drier periods. We need to know that we're likely to have enough water available. Can we do anything with the land that we have? Can we use the way that land is managed to help us mitigate the, the risk from climate change? It basically measures the level of water in the dams and also the temperature of the water. Planning for drier spells has prompted a collaboration with the University of Aberdeen and the James Hutton Institute. PhD student Jessica Fennell has helped the distillery devise sustainable solutions. These are um, leaky barriers and they're essentially here um, as nature-based solutions to help store water essentially when it's wet and retain that water for longer to allow infiltration into deeper storage zones. So in theory that would then provide more water um, for the distillery uh, for drier periods. That is the benefit of nature-based solutions. They don't just um, enable us to manage water resources. They come with all these additional benefits like enhancing biodiversity in the landscape and improving water quality. The team are confident that interventions will be a success. The Glenlivet have been suitably impressed by Jessica's efforts. They've named a very limited edition bottle in her honour.